Kevin, where are we going today? Uh, we're gonna go downstream on East Branch probably. End up at Radio Station eventually. What, what are we going to see? What are we going to show the kids? Uh, some erosion from uh, climate change, uh, mudslides. Well, we'll see when we get there. Can you tell me any other places you've seen erosion? Mostly in the coastline. Like I go whaling at Kendall Island for subsistence, beluga hunting. The Pelly Island is one of the fastest eroding islands in the Arctic, so. It's just getting worse every year? Noticeably different, yeah. We just have to adjust. So my students have been working on a climate change project for my science class. Uh, this is a grade seven uh, science class. And they've been working on this project since December. So today we're gonna go up to Reindeer Station and hopefully see uh, some of the first hand effects that climate change has. What do you think we're gonna see today? Lots of erosion. How come the erosion's happening? Because the permafrost is melting. You notice erosion in other places too? Yeah. Whereabouts? I don't know. Maybe, Other places. Maybe back at Baby Island? Yeah. T oh yeah! Tell me what you've seen on Baby Island. There's like yeah. a big hole because of erosion. Pretty dramatic. That is. Looks fresh too, eh? Yeah. Is this the big one or the next no, one? The yeah. one right there. Look, like you can see even teeth in the water there. Wow. You see it? You see where? You see where the grass? The, the second gravel is? Yeah. Just, just in front of it. Look at the willows in the water. Do you want to go to the next one? It's just right there. You can actually see it. There's a bigger one. Yeah. We'll go and take a look. Did you guys see this the other day? Yeah. Not me. Do you know what it is? It's yeah. a permafrost. It's a permafrost. Yeah. It pokes into the ground. Right, so we call it a permafrost probe. The Ooh. purpose of it is to see how far down the permafrost is. All right, so what we do is you try three different locations. Do you know why? So basically you push down as far as you can until it stops. Then you measure where it is. Okay, there's little numbers on, on the side here. Just put your finger on where it stops and you can pull it up and take your reading. But you th try it three different times in case you, the first time was a rock. So that's why you try it three different times. Permafrost is a frozen part of the ground where nothing can go through it, I guess. And why do they call it permafrost? Because it's permanently frost. How about Baby Island? How far you got to dig to find ice? A lot. Yeah. Because of all the erosion, there's so much. Mm. Right then. So why don't you guys go try up on the flat and then take some readings and we'll see what happens. Where did this mud come from? You think some of it's from up the hill? Yeah. Yeah, I think most of it. Where's the bear trap? What kind of bear do you think? Grizzly. You can do some probing up here? Yeah. Okay, let me grab my gun. Sure. Look at this landslide. Oh, no. What is it? It's part of a little landslide. Oh, we're seeing a bit of a landslide, it looks like. We studied these things since uh, since December, but it's really nice for the kids to see it in person. So what's going on here, guys? Landslide. What's uh, what's the cause from? Uh, permafrost melting. Permafrost melting? About 92. <coughs> So when the, what happens in the permafrost? Um, the land gets loose. Right. Uh, landslide started from up there and it knocked down a bunch of trees. A lot of big trees too, eh? Yeah. Even like, pushed the willows in the water. Like over there, it pushed like a big thing of sand and then it's like a bunch of trees and stuff all over there. So what do you think, the permafrost up top just let loose and started to melt? Yeah. Yeah. What's that? What do you see, John? Just a big landslide. 
It's one thing to talk about this in the class, but you don't actually get out and see it. Yeah, I never, never saw it this close. This is pretty crazy. Yeah. Okay, take your measurement. Put your finger down there. What was it? 80. Maybe, so like maybe go over there and do another one. Yep. <laughs> Your feet. Oh. So 75. 75. 75? Mm-hmm. 75. One more. We're gonna go off. What is that? 80? 80? Do we have oh. any numbers from 10 or 20 years ago to compare? Um, I don't think so. Where was it? 50? 50, yeah. Do you have any numbers from 10 or 20 years back to compare? I think there's, I'd have to be sure, but that's the point of like, there's researchers up here now that are doing that to establish that baseline data so that they can track it over time. And, and that was the idea of droning it too, to yeah. get a model to compare that's, to the future? That's right, yeah. yeah. Dig down with a shovel, can we see the ice? Probably, yeah. Nine, ten. 10. Co cold. <laughs> it's cold. It is? Yeah. Cold. Oh. 20? <laughs> 20? 20. Okay. 10? 10? Yep. Well, we're saying like if you can see how like these landslides they expose the land like here's insulated right so the permafrost is fairly close to the surface but if you get all these trees that are getting basically wiped out it's no longer insulated so it's exposing that permafrost to the the elements i guess taking the topsoil off 10 no 20. good job <laughs> we're good good job Drew. head back down I'm not coming to get you. Okay. Tell us when you hit permafrost. 